I'm not going to take this video to just shit on Gen Z and just completely, you know, complain about everything that they say and everything that they do and all their beliefs, LGBTQ, IA+, and all that stuff like that. I'm not going to be complaining about all of that, as, you know, many people do in their videos. Instead, I'm going to be telling you exactly why I think that this happened to be the case. Now, when everybody, you know, raises people to be this way, then to be a certain way, you know, like the child brain is incredibly moldable. Obviously, that child brain is going to be incredibly influenced how they're raised, and they're going to become a completely different person because of that, right? I believe that Gen Z is the way that they are because of how they were raised, because how every, you know, everyone thought that these kids will do better, they will work harder, if they get participation trophies, for example, these kids will work harder and they will be happier and they will be less depressed if we include everyone. These kids will be far greater in their ambition if, you know, we let them succeed easier, if we coddle them a little bit and praise them for things that they didn't do. All these different things, you know, and, you know, grades don't matter and people are now trying to get the fitness tests removed, you know, all these different things. And then people are like, oh yeah, Gen Z is so retarded. Gen Z is like TikTok and all this, you know, woke stuff. It's, it's your fault, dude. It, it might not be your fault specifically, but it's your generation's fault primarily for this wrongdoing. It's your fault, your generation's fault for raising kids to be this way. It's your generation's fault for getting them to adopt these stupid beliefs. Because let's be real, some, you know, Gen Z kid didn't just randomly say, oh yeah, guys, let's let's do this, let's protest for this specific, you know, stupid thing. Let's, let's not stand up to these people and let's just be estrogenic cucks. You know, no Gen Zer wants to be that, and I think that a lot of Gen Zers actually want to succeed. Hence why everyone's turning to these different influencers like Andrew Tate and Hamza. All these people actually are seeing now the value of becoming an actual man and not becoming an enslaved, you know, person to their own mind and being fully weak and accepting that, which is, you know, the worst thing that you could possibly do. People, things just didn't end up this way. And I do believe that it's absolutely because of, I mean, I don't know. I don't really believe in the agenda kind of shit, like the conspiracy theory kind of stuff, but it is absolutely a mistake that higher generations made is you know making us believe these kinds of things and raising us to be this way but with that said you know gen z should obviously take self-accountability for their actions you know if they're fat then they should say oh yeah i ate myself too this way because there's no other way to get fat don't give me that bullshit if someone's got bad grades you know this was my fault and even though you know i fell for the people saying that grades don't actually matter and people with Fs actually are very smart because they don't understand that school is invaluable. All of those people are bullshitting me and I was the one who believed them. It's a two way spectrum and not one party is specifically right or wrong with this. Anyway, that's just my belief. And you know what? I don't even know I'm recording this video because you know, this video is probably going to get like a hundred views and no one's really going to listen to me about this subject, but I hope that I offered a different perspective for you, the viewer, and maybe I shifted your anger on Gen Z or your anger towards, you know, people who raised them. Maybe I like lightened, loosened that a little bit and I gave you a different perspective that you haven't thought of before. And, you know, if you like this video on my channel, my name is him, not because I'm him, but because we're all striving to be him, right? And hopefully I can help you on that journey just as, it, just as I did today. So if you like that message, then do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.